Hi all of you, a very good evening and welcome to the 3 minute series. Now you'll ask me what is 3 minute series. Now here we'll be discussing a topic in 3 minutes. Okay, a very crucial topic it will be. It will be probably a very confusing topic, very crucial, very important. And the discussion will be a little quick so that any time you can come back and review it very quickly. So the key points will be discussed unlike our other lectures which are very detailed. This one will be a quick review kind of thing. Okay. So without any wastage of time, let me start. So today we'll be discussing orthodontics key ridge. Okay, so basically what it says is it's the lowest point on the outline of zygoma. So this green bone you can see there that is the zygoma. Okay, and the lowest point on the outline of zygoma and it corresponds to the first molar. So this is the point. Okay, this is the this is the point you can see there which is called as the key ridge. Okay, now a few more things to know here. As I have told you it corresponds to what? In deciduous dentition it corresponds to the maxillary second molar and in permanent dentition it corresponds to mesiobuccal root. You know, so it is slightly anterior than, we, than what we saw. Uh, no anatomical variations you can call it. Basically what they say is this key ridge is on the zygomatic buttress. There is something known as zygomatic buttress in zygoma. So that was a question key ridge is located where? So it is located on the zygomatic buttress. Okay. So and it descends down and backward towards maxillary first molar like it downwards and first molar and then backward it goes. So that is basically the zygomatic buttress. Now one more point to note here, in cephalometrics it has got a slightly different definition. It says the lowermost point that is the key ridge is the lowermost point, please understand. So again inferior most, lowermost on the contour of the anterior wall, I will show you the picture out there, of the infratemporal fossa. So if you come to the same image once again. So this is basically the temporal bone. So below that you have got the, so in this area behind this green one, if you just remove that zygomatic arch, here you will be having in this region you will have the infratemporal fossa. So the lowermost point on the anterior border of the infratemporal fossa. So the same thing almost. Now if you go further to understand the clinical significance of the ski ridge, okay. Now in cephalometrics basically it is used to assess the malocclusion because it is very stable and consistent. Okay? So stability and constancy in relation to the cranial bones throughout a person's life. So this is used uh, a re very reliable point in cephalometrics and therefore it is used to assess the malocclusion, carriage. Okay, and that was a question which was based on. Also in case of class 2 treatment basically this key ridge where this is the place where you place bone anchors like mini implants out there no? so that you can apply the force for the class 2 treatment and push the molar backward. So the maxilla is forward in class 2 so or the maxillary teeth are forward so if you want to push it back you need an anchor. You place the anchor in this particular zone and use the force backward. Okay, so that is what and you use a nickel titanium spring generate force to push it backwards. So that's the treatment part of it. And please note examples of bone anchors. One I told you already, which is mini implant, second is TAD. Okay, so as many number of points in three minutes. Okay, temporary an temporary anchorage device is TAD or another uh, anchorage device is mini implant to get the force. So that will be the three minute series on the carriage.